Alright guys, real quick, I wanted to show you what I made today. I put the two tweeters on this board right here. And it's the same, it's a scrap piece from uh, when I built the box, so it's the same length of the box. I had it kicked like this against the box in the back. Well, actually in the where the back seats are. So you, if you're inside the car, you see it, and it's facing right towards you. I just got to get longer speaker wire, because I couldn't wire it into the rear deck, because... Uh, it comes on and everything, but I, I mainly keep those speakers off, but I plugged them in to see if, make sure that I was getting sound through there. But, um, it, uh, it's on, it, it's connected somehow through that Pioneer system. I got to figure it out. I think it's something to do with, I got it on sub-sub. I think you have to have it on rear sub. I got to figure out how to change those settings. You know, I'm still getting to know this, uh, head unit that I got. Um. But I, I probably most likely just get a four channel amp and then run these off one of the channels. That way I, I know for sure that they're getting sound and they'll sound real good and I can tune them in better. And uh, so that's the next thing I got to get is a four channel amp and a and a, a bigger alternator. Those are two of the things that I really need. I got those scars coming in tomorrow, the six and a half, and those are going in the back deck. They're just pure meds. There's no... Um, highs about them i read the reviews people said beware they're they're just mid-range they're not um they're not nothing to do with any like light component co coaxial speakers like what's in your doors so my door speakers i'll probably try a different type of uh uh component speakers probably ones that don't ain't so much just pure mid-range but i mean it, it, it's it's kind of okay if i run these tweeters with just mid-range and the doors and the back deck i think i'll be fine so i'm i'm getting it all set up right there's the old 10 inch box i was using um it's out of oak i got all these boxes over here all kinds of head units my factory one a couple aftermarkets a red box i made a while back the 15 inch box the 10 inch um Q bomb. <laughs> Look at all those disc circles cutouts. I got this place a mess, man. I, I just got done mowing the grass. It's dark out. I ain't had time to do anything. But uh that's one of the boxes of American Base come in. I got another one in the house. Got car audio stuff everywhere. But I just wanted to show you guys these tweeters, you know, how I did it. I cut it out. I used the I actually how I got the cutout thing, there's it was simple. I just used let me get this in the light. These cardboard things here, I just traced those because the magnets fit right down in them. I traced those and then cut them out. But I know the video that I, I got uploading right now, which probably posted by the time you guys see this one. Um, when I rewatched parts when I was editing, I noticed that the, the treble, the highs were really high because I had the dBs turned up because you can set each individual speaker on, from that Pioneer head unit. And I had the, excuse me, sorry, um, the the uh, two front speakers turned up a little too high. I noticed that it was drowning out the bass. But, I mean, the bass was there. You guys probably couldn't tell as much. But I'll get it right. I'll get it better this week. I'll keep messing with it once I get more familiar with the head unit and, uh, and the app. It's a little touchy when you, you got to be careful touching the main knob on it because you'll end up going into the menu and stuff like that you got to do a lot of the stuff from the app um it's pioneer sync something like that app you got to download it's really cool though you can control virtually everything you know from it and um uh, i bought a flash drive earlier you know, when i went up town i got a 32 gig i'm gonna download all the music that i got i downloaded it on the computer earlier today and I'm going to download it onto that flash drive so I don't even have to really use the phone so much. I'll just use the the flash drive. Of course, the phone will still be Bluetooth connected for phone calls and, and other controls and stuff. Which you can, like I said, you can do the cutoff at the, uh, for the frequency on each separate speaker. If you want it from 60 hertz up to, like, I think it's 160 or something like that. But, I mean, it's a really good radio. Um... If you guys are looking for a good radio, check it out. I mean, even from Wally World, I usually don't buy car audio stuff from Walmart. But 
that Pioneer. I did because I seen it on Amazon, and my friend said, hey, they got that at Walmart cheaper. So I, I looked, and they did. So I got it. Anyway, just wanted to show you guys that because I remember I said I was going to show you the hook up the tweeters. But I really couldn't do it right now. I got to wait till I get a four channel amp. But they're all ready, you know. Once I get it, I'm going to have it set up in there. I'm still going to do a lot of stuff. I'll probably be changing it up a lot. I got extra RCA cables in here, 17 feet of it, shrink wrap, you know, you name it. I got got these things you know reducers zero gauge stuff so anyway just wanted to tell you all that real quick and uh it's gonna be a long week got a lot of work to do and a lot of things to do this week so i'll post sporadically and uh update you guys on what's going on sooner or later i'll show other people's cars too once i get time and i can actually go to some car shows and stuff like that um i don't know of any at the moment if you guys know of any that's upcoming, post in the comments. Maybe if they're not too far from Kentucky, I can make it to them and film some demos of other people's rides. Anyway, I appreciate all the new subscribers. I really appreciate all the old subscribers that have stuck with me. Um, we're going to keep building this up. I'll keep helping you guys. Any questions you got, I'll help you to the best of my abilities. I'm not a professional. I've learned um, from other people just like... You guys learn stuff from me, so, but I'll help you the best I can. Um, I do do a lot of research and, and on, on a lot of different topics. There's All right, guys, I just downloaded all the songs I had on my phone on this drive. I got it from Dollar General. It's the only one they had, 32 gigs, but, uh, yeah, it barely... I had 200, almost 300 songs all together, 280 something, I think. I probably have to end up deleting some. I'm going to see how good that Pioneer does with using the USB if it if it uh, goes to the tracks easy. It might be better to use the phone because I can pick what I want real fast. But either way, I'm going to go out and check it out. Let's go out and see. It's nighttime, so I can't really jam it. We're just going to see if this feature works. The U USB works good. I'm gonna turn the car off. good though anyway I just want to show you guys that USB works USB's uh, got so many songs on it though take a while to scroll through them all but I also uh, the Bluetooth on this going through my phone too so I can control it from it but I can't film it with the phone because I'm using the phone I'm using this phone to film it so Anyway, just wanted to show you guys that this radio, this radio's kick ass. It puts out so much juice compared to the other one. Oh, I sold the other one too. Quick, still got the subs for sale. Look where I put that bass knob. Sweet, huh? So I can turn on the bass up. Perfect. I drilled a hole through the back of this and screwed it down from the top. So it's straight. Anyway, just want to show you the USB flash drive I bought. Works decent. <laughs> I want to do it, but I can't. Anyway, I got to get ready for work tomorrow. I'll catch you all in the next one. Play.